Hello everyone. In one of my previous videos, I had spoken about hustling during your 20s. Today, I want to talk a little bit deeper on how do you make money during your 20s. You know, one of the biggest regrets that I have and one of the biggest learnings I've had from my experience is how during your late teens and early 20s, you can gain a lot of knowledge, skills and capabilities by doing things outside the regular studies and education, formal education. A lot of informal education and soft skill development happens when you do things which is outside the formal education, which is like doing business, hustling and making money. So today I want to talk about what are the various opportunities that you can all take to make money during your 20s. Let me say that the idea is not about just making money. The idea is actually to help you all gain knowledge, competencies and capabilities that can help you to be work ready when you are graduating from your university and stuff. So I really want all of you to watch till the end because I will be sharing simple things that you can all do sitting at your home or just a little bit of effort, how you can make money, which of course in turn brings you skills as well. So let's get started. So how do you make money? What are the options you have? The first thing I feel is freelancing. You know, there is so much of opportunities these days in freelancing, which you can decide how many hours you want to work, where you want to work from. And it gives you complete freedom as well. Um, I know a lot of people even doing Uber driving as a freelancer, you know, four hours a day, eight hours a day. I once when I was in Malaysia, uh, there was an Uber driver who said that he's going to drive Uber for next three months till he accumulates a certain amount of money for his wedding. So you can even do stuff like that. But what are the options that I would propose today? The first one is writing, content writing. It's very, very popular. You know, even I have a content writer who helps me to do my content and make it look nicer. You sometimes have ideas, but you don't have time or the, you can't put the effort or you don't probably know or you're not as good as a professional writer. So if you're good at writing, haven't you thought about writing for blogs, writing for people, ghost writing books, um, you can do slogan writing, design writings. There's so much of options out there. So if you are a good writer, if you have a good command over language, which many even high school students have, why don't you do that and why don't you start doing some content writing and that will give you a lot of money. That's the point number one. Second point is design. You know, you may have good skills in terms of graphics. Um, you can do graphics for Instagram, for YouTube, uh, social media content creators, or you can design slogans, you can design um, posters. A lot of companies would also be looking for such people. We are always looking for such people as well. So again, if your interest is in design graphics, you can use your skills and do some work on these part as well. The third and final one is web development. You backend developer, frontend developer, UI UX, stack developer, WordPress expert. This whole lot of again options on freelancing on these things as well. There are sites like Fiverr or Upwork where you can get freelancing jobs as well. Uh, these are some of the information that I can share, but there are experts who are putting out YouTube videos just on this. I suggest strongly for you guys to watch Ishan Sharma's videos or Curious Harish's videos where they post a lot of information on freelancing and how can you make thousands of rupees during your college studies as well. So that's on the freelancing part. The next thing that you can do is small business. I know a lot of college students are, you know, doing this. I, you know, from my own experience, I have mentioned about this in many of my podcasts. When I was in my school, I used to help my mom when she used to have small businesses of selling saris, selling insurance. I used to go with her to talk to class to customers and sell insurances. I used to help her sell Oriflame. Um, this is the first thing that comes to my mind. Oriflame is a cosmetic company. Then uh, Amway, uh, I've also helped her with that. So, and I used to get a lot of, you know, pocket money from whatever she used to make as money as well. I've also done door-to-door -door sales, SIM card sales. I used to sell Nokia SIM cards, um, in fact, during those days. And I used to work in a, in a shop that was selling music cassettes and CDs. 
uh, because I was a music connoisseur. So I used to work in a music shop like three, four hours a day. These are different options that I have done. So similarly, you can also look at small businesses as well. Small businesses is where like maybe you can go to a wholesale book distributor, buy some books and sell it to your friends with a little bit of markup. You know, I've heard stories of people selling lemonade during summer in a corner of a street. You can put up a lemonade stall and sell lemonade. Nothing is wrong. You're going to still make money. Um, you can look at making small businesses with online stuff, right? You can open a small website and you can still sell stuff. I know a friend of mine who has recently started buying secondhand clothes, refurbishing them and selling it with a markup. See, there are lots of ideas like this, you know, every day around you, you see, you see newspaper delivery boys doing businesses, you see the guys serving coconut bread, serve, you know, doing business in Mumbai. So again, don't limit yourself. And, and I always said that it is not about the money. It's about the knowledge that you make, because when you start doing these kind of things, you're interacting with people, you're learning sales skills, you're learning negotiation skills, you're learning money handling skills, you know, you will know how to handle your money and how to make it worthy. So these are small, small things that I would like all of you to think about. The third and the last option for making money is internships. Every company is looking for interns. And especially now with COVID, many of the companies don't have enough headcount budgets to hire full-time people. But they have challenges to face where they need interns. And they'd be happy to pay you 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, even 50,000. You know, we take every year professional interns in Shindla for 50,000 rupees as well. Uh, but the output that we expect is also high so if you are a smart intelligent you know uni student or a high school student you can apply for internships and this is not difficult at all i have spoken about how to get internships and what you should do internships in a separate video you can check it out as well end of the day it's about connecting with people on linkedin uh, putting out thought leadership on linkedin so people know about you and they offer you internships as well and there you can do meaningful work you know it's not just about doing something you can do meaningful work it helps you get access to how does the mnc environment look like uh, how is the culture does this kind of thing like well you know as a full-time thing for you in future so these are different things that you can learn from internships as well so doing small business internships freelancing three ideas i've spoken about today i'm sure you can at least do one of these and again please don't think about money you may get a lot of negativity from your parents, from your relatives, but please tell them you're not trying to do it for money. You're trying to really understand a lot of things. You know, when I was in Australia, I've spoken about it that I used to work in restaurants, washing dishes, cleaning, uh, picking up beer bottles. It taught me value of money. It taught me dignity of labor. I started respecting everyone just because of all these things. So please try out these things. Try hustling. Make your 20s the most productive ages of your career and life and i'm sure you will all get a lot out of it so thank you for watching till i see you next time stay fit stay positive keep chasing obscene success and do share and subscribe to the video as well. thank you